Retired Major Dada Gudana, MP for Galole constituency in Tana River County, has been singled out as one of those politicians who should be probed as the government tries to unravel the bloodbath in Riketa village that left 50 people dead. It is Honorable Gudana. Honorable Gudana is the one. He told my family secretary he will not attend the meeting. And even in the meeting with the members of parliament, some members who attended that meeting say that he is not attending the meeting because he has got the reason why he is not attending. I want to agree with the minister that I be investigated. But I want as much that as much as I'm being investigated. I want him to be investigated even more than me. The retired major turned politician came under fire in parliament as MPs accused him of frustrating peace building initiatives. I have evidence that I have been a gentleman as a minister of government. I have been using government institutions to address this matter. Today I cannot be the, the same person to turn the arrow to and implicate me in clashes in Garshen. That Honorable Bogadana yesterday was also here. That I asked him, 48 people have killed, died. Can we go and ask for a, 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 a motion of adjournment? to discuss this issue and we are with I think Honorable Mungaru and he dismissed it. Kwa sababu alisema ataka kwenda kwa mugutano ile moshumua haji hako. Na moshumua haji haiko hapo kama nyumba yake, hako kama ofisi ya Kenya mzima. Midway through the early morning press conference at Chester House, Nairobi, Gadana received a phone call from a caller he identified to be his party leader, Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Just a minute. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. The police flashlight will, however, not only be on the Galole Member of Parliament, but on many more politicians countrywide and other actors as they seek to end a vicious cycle of violence that has caused massive bloodletting in Tana River and parts of Northeastern Province ahead of what is believed to be a make-or-break general election. Sylvia Tibet, Citizen at One.